So Shabbos Pashas Yisra Yud Zayin Shvat. Tov Shem Dalad Mem. So we can speak out the rabbits in a bit and Chavay Shvat. So they saw the sounds and the lightning flashes and that and the mountain smoking and the people saw and they stood and they trembled and they stood off from afar. It's known the question of the Rabbeim. Look at the Torah, starting there. And also in the Maimba, which begins with these words of the Rebbe Rashab, if they may have shown a hundred years earlier, uh, 1884. What is the whole drama here? The Kailas, the sounds. Everything that was commanded in are simple matters. Not to murder, not to bear false witness. Is that the Seder in the Seder Sadibris? No, I wonder why he skips. I guess he skips to show like sampling. Shem Dvorim Shutim, the simple matter. Shagamim Len Stavalze. Had we not been, been commanded, it would be fitting to do so in and of themselves. says, if would have not been given, so he would have learned morality from nature. You know, the maid in Tzniyas Mechosu would learn modesty from a cat, etc. So we were learning this mime with my boys, so one of them asked, but the classic answer to that is that if the morality is not based on a divine command, then it's not going to last. Varai, varai, the rai is history. Um, so you need to have matan tari even for simple matters. The khuda, it would appear the answer to the question is that here he's speaking even while you are observing it, before it gets corrupted. Even in the actual morality learned from nature, industriousness, from the ant and, and modesty from the from the cat and loyalty from the dove, etc. Even before corruption, even so what do you need the Torah then? You need only the Torah that should last. No, you need the Torah for the actual observance. The question here is why if you've learned it from nature? Even creatures, animals, living creatures are careful about these matters. After Yislavabem, even if we're not commanded, somebody else also asked another question. <laughs> See, it's a sneeze from a cat, and there are other animals that are entirely not sneeze. So, how do you learn it from nature? So, the, the answer here, too, is not two, it's not the answer that the human being has a natural disposition towards morality. So, he's objective, you'll find it in nature. Of course, you can justify everything. Why are you just saying the intelligent person who is looking for a wholesome life that works, you see it in nature. You'll also see other things. You'll see terror in nature as well. Although very few creatures, I don't think any at all, maybe the hyena kill for the sake of killing. I don't think it, maybe the hyena also, not, but I think maybe there's one. But overall, the point is that uh, we're predisposed as a creation of God ourselves to live moral good lives. It's make us feel better. And in fact, there's a whole argument and there are philosophies and there are societies that in theory, um, in theory, have derived all of the morality and they are moral and even spiritual without Torah complete, completely. So what's the whole tumult? What's the whole the gewald, the thunder and lightning and the whole drama of such simple matters we would know anyway, and many do from nature. 
ממשיך שם, ואם לא ימד מה שנסתף על זה מפני שגוד הוא המצווה ואיסר, מי שאין מצווה ואיסר, and the answer goes on to say that the Brasha, you might want to answer, God commands us because he wants to give us more reward. By making it a commandment, we then, that's the meaning, that's a simple shot. Greater is the one who does, who is commanded, and the one who is not commanded, you would think the other way, if you do it voluntarily, you're more virtuous, more worthy. The simple shot is because if you're commanded, you get rewarded. So because Hashem loves you, and He commands even simple matters, in order to increase their reward. It doesn't answer our question. Okay, so that would only answer why you have to be commanded. What's the tremendous tumult and the sounds and the that the great and awesome tumult? There was a matan Torah. Bechlal, befrachin stava al dvarim shut mishmarel in like kein gambele tzivi. Seems to add now another new ones that even if it was a commandment, we wouldn't know. So what's the big rash? It's enough that you tell us. It has to come with drama. This is like a new point now. Even ones you wouldn't know. Now befrat, especially in the as we're discussing now that we're getting those in yonim that we would do them anyway. A functioning society. Even without nature, it just cannot survive if people steal and kill and are dishonest and so on. If a functioning society needs rules of, of, of uh, protection of the individual, etc. At least the upper class individuals. Mamshi the Maimar and Alni continues in the Maimar of the Rebbe Rashab of Tafrish Mem Dalit. Understand that the Medr says what Abish said, every year said that the, that, that the divine presence talks to me. That's why you use the singular, even God's addressing the multitude. And likewise, in the subsequent commandments, it's in the singular. So each one should say, they should spoke to him. What is this inyan that God speaks to each individual? It seems the question is, the point is conveyed, if he talks to everyone. So what's the inyan he speaks to each, each one individual? As you know, Rashi's answer, Pshutu Shamikra, is not this. Rashi asks why the, it's in the second person, what's it? It's second person singular. Elikech, not Elikech. And Rashi's answer, Pshutu Shamikra, is not that each person felt or the God was addressing each one individual. We're not going to go into it. But Rashi's answer is as a defense of Moshe Rabbeinu. When it comes to the Cheta Eagle down the road, 40 days later, Moshe will be able to argue, which he did. You told me, you were talking to me, the singular, not them. That's Pshutu Shomikra, which we spoke about at length on another occasion. But as an Ashi bring this Medrash, which anybody would, would suggest, or somebody, you spoke better about the Fabreng, about the oil. Someone said, why the singular? Because Behemshech, Behich, and Shem, you saw in the heart, the people were united, that's what it says. So the sense the singular. Very beautiful answers in Pshutu Shomikra. Ashi gives such an answer. Not for now. Fascinatingly, or not fascinatingly, in this mind of the Rebbe Rashab, we only have the beginning and not the end of it. In the of the feet of the Rebbe Rashab's handwritten Maimir. For that matter, there's no Hanach of Chsidim either. So the Rebbe is saying we have to understand the answer. To the questions he raised, which he doesn't answer, we don't have. We'll find the answer. It's a, it's a, it's a appropriate to find the answer in other my of the my of the Rebbe Rashad himself. And likewise, my modim previous So there's three Rebbes to speak about this question. It's a Machzedek, the Mitla Rebbe, 
and the Alter Rebbe. Shalem, you said my mother upon which these my modem, his mime was played. He was his mime was is based. Just mm -hmm. Lahoyer, of course, that every mime is not a repetition of what was said earlier. So to find the answer previously, now that the Rebbe is saying that answer, and it's a chiddush in that answer. So the Rebbe is, is giving the new answer to the Rebbe Rashab's Maimer. And he's saying the Maimer, which is Bachal, the Rebbe's whole thing is he always claimed no originality. He's just explaining what was said. <laughs> but he's explaining what was said in the most original way. How can he claim it's not original? Because he's Megal the Edson. If he would just add a new one, another strata, no, that's original. But the Rebbe's Megala, the Etzim Atayra, it's at once not original and changes everything. Illuminates everything. Right? It's a Giloy Etzim. It's not new, but nothing is the same. Nothing. Not just a Kashi, a Teretz, another little coat of paint, another brick. It's a fundamental renewal of the whole Binyin. Every Maimah does that of the Rebbe. We don't see it necessarily, but sometimes we do. I put this up here because it's a word in the code of the explanation. Everybody's following, yeah? The Drusha Rabbi is saying in the Siyin, in my modem of the Rabbein, but from the Drusha Bala Maim, and especially in my modem of the Rabbi Rashad. In the Inya, the Matan Tayra Hoyo, I'm Shocha Saatmus. Shine. What's Matan Torah? Matan Torah is the drawing down of the essence of the Ebesh to be goal in a revealed way. And in brackets, he hastens to add, essence by its very definition cannot be revealed. So whatever this means, Giloi, in Atmo, revelation of the essence, that's what happened. To what, in the manner that it can happen, as opposed to say in the manner that it cannot happen. Meaning the kibbutz of Adam Torah a bit like Zer Del Yerim, but Yedul Atachtoim Vetachtoim Moyala Lel Yonim. As we all know, Adam Torah was the abolishment of the decree that separated the upper and the lower heaven and earth. From the words of the Medrash, Suri and Roimi, or Roimi and Surya. So till the giving of the Torah was this natural great divide between spirituality and physicality, heaven and earth, infinite and finite. So that's, that's the natural division. Matan Torah abolished that. Only God himself can abolish this fundamental, irreconcilable gulf. Because that was the whole purpose of Matan Torah, to abolish this great natural divide. And therefore that re requires Atmos, the, of the essence of the Abish himself, who transcends both upper and lower there, he only Atzimus, no revelation of God, only his essence can effect this abolishment of this gzeda, this natural, the most natural of all possible degree, de decrees. In fact, the one law that lies at the law of all of nature. And Bechol Mokim in every place, Atzimus had to be revealed everywhere because thereafter, wherever he goes in the world, he can reveal and sanctify the world. So Atmos has revealed Bechol Mokin. Answer that question. Now it's a Matan Torah. Hashem said the simplest matters. And he said not to murder, not to bear false witness on the parents and so on. What about, what about keeping Shabbos? There's one exception. So the answer is keeping Shabbos is also a logical thing. Most societies have a day off. In fact, it started in Mitzrayim. Para gave them a day off, even in Mitzrayim. Give a matan to the chod, ram shachos atzus, the whole sage culture, because the whole point is that nature be suffused and now with godliness and all of Ishtalch is gone, but Varmachit should me even the simplest matters. Yadrab, not even the simplest matters. On the contrary, 
Hamata Dafka, where his essence found is Dafka Lamata, as explained elsewhere, as he says, Pimbaki Tach the Bayoise Dafka, the lowest place, Kamabu Baruch, the Kamam Makoimus, is explained in many places. A great theme in the Rebbe's Maimodim is that the essence of God is to be accessed Dafka in Tachten, the lowest of which is no other in the Yesh Hanivra, that's where it's expressed, the Yesh Hamiti. Especially in the bottom of the Mitten Rebbe, this was quoted in the, which we looked in the Chavbeis, the Tzvat Tavshin Chavbeis. Shekola Gavoya Gavoya Beyoise, the higher, the higher Dafka, Yeri Lamata Mata Beyoise can extend and reach the greatest depth. Zel Gamatam, that's also the Bishop Kol, that Vorm Shistav Manterim Vorm Shotim Dafke, that everything was commanded in was simple matters, the fish am shoche, so etzem, he bid Vorm Matachtoin in Bepshutta Beyo, he said the essence is expressed in the simplest and lowest expression. Heim, Beklola Soilmas in the world, in terms of creation, Dafke Lam Haze, in all of the world's ways, arts must be expressed as Dafke Bel Machia Tachtun Shlematim and Dafke in this world, and in our world itself, in the simplest matters. In the simplest matters, that's where Atmos is found. Don't steal, don't kill, don't bear false witness. Which is the whole point. So in simple language, that means is David is saying, I wouldn't have given the to still do these things. If you're a decent human being, you will, as, as many decent human beings do, they observe morality and they find good people and loyal good people and even charitable good people without Taylor. So what's the whole point of, of, of Matan Taylor is, the Abishta says, I want to be part of that. I don't want you to, to be just good. I want you to be godly. And godly means that I am part of your world. And therefore, Davka, he commands the simplest matters that we would do anyway, infusing them with his presence. That's the whole kavana. In your simple, decent humanity. That's what I want to be a part of. And therefore, he makes that a commandment. And therefore, the whole drama, the whole givaldi gechidosh, the kailus of Rocky, because it's a tremendous chidosh. You want to be a part of of the human, of the human condition, they would have thought that the whole point is that we should divest ourselves of the human condition. Godly, the sense of transcending. No, the point is the matter and stay the matter, and I want to be part of it. That's the big news. There could be no bigger news than that. There's nothing more startling than that. Continuing. So the famous kasha, what does the word lamer mean? Normally, lamer means that Moshe Rabbeinu, Hashem spoke to Moshe, lamer, to convey it to Yidin. They're all there. He's talking to everybody. So what does lamer mean? So he gives a pirish over here. It's based on medrash. It's based on medrash. What he means here look at the star they added this clearly they added this later maybe the Rebbe did from Ayn Ches let's read it since the third is the drawing down of the essence of Hashem so Hashem's presence becomes United with each one individual. And that's what the Yalkut means. Each one spoke to me because the point is that Atmos, of which there is no boundaries at all, is drawn down the matter. And that's the point that we're saying now in, in our world. So each person said, they just spoke to me. Each one felt that the Abish himself is speaking to me in a revealed way. That's the point, is to get down to our world. 
In addition to that, in addition to that, Peter back to the mind, but yes, clear. Shakoi Gamalagashmi Vatachthan. Not only the individual, but it refers to the Gashmis of the world. Shahu Atzmai Nase Ha'oimer Azoger. The world itself express the world itself becomes a speaker and says there's an Abishter and he's here. The point was that the essence of the Abishter is drawn down in the world, in the world of the world, in the simplest stratas of life, the simplest morality, without which a society couldn't function a day. So this world itself, the lamer, the world itself is reflecting and saying, Abishta, don't kill, because Abishta said don't kill. And the world itself is saying that. That's the lamer. Not just the Eid, but the world. The world becomes a zoga. The world becomes a, 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 a communicator. God wants a relationship, a communicator. The world itself is saying, there's an Abishter, and that's what our truth is, our morality is. It's divine. Okay, I'll send them uh, just think over here. Yeah, it's very, it's very hot. It's getting warm in there. It's just me. Now it's going to answer another detail with the Pasuk. Then the Chola Meroi Vayat, everybody saw, and then the Pasuk says Vayara, um, they saw the Kailas, and the people saw. They are new and they trembled beyond the Barachik and he stood off at a distance. Yud Beis Miller Rashi tells us that's how, how far they they moved back to Allah and brought them back, right? Rashi. Shezeh Yemeen Kelam Shachas Atzmo. So this is a Keli Yemeen, a kind of Keli for what's happening now. The essence of the Eved to drawn into the world into their lives. But Hector, first you have to explain what does this mean. This was a Keli. Can be a Keli for Atzmos. You can't be a keli. You can't be a vessel for atzmus. Obviously, a vessel, a finite human being, or any vessel, the highest keli, kelim that silas and higher, cannot be a keli mamish for atzmus for the essence of the abish that beyond beyond. Can it be a fitting receptacle to contain God? Obviously not. So what do you mean now? That, that, they, that this trembling and standing from afar is a kind of keli. Can't be worthy or deserving or fitting for the essence of the Abishta to reside in you. It's his choice, absolutely. It's pchiris or atzmos. Now I'm ready. No matter what. Now I'm ready for film. You're ready for film. the simplest Jews ready for film, and this is the greatest tzaddik, not because you have a worthiness or unworthiness, because God chose. So what do we mean here now by this main kelly? The Kambokim, nonetheless, it continues. He'll explain, there has to be a kind of preparation for the gili of Atmos. What's its preparation in simple language? So we have to say here that even without this achana, Hashem has chosen and wants to be part of your life, He is, period. When you do the mitzvah. But the point is, Gilo Yatmos. Gilo Yatmos. Not that just God is essentially there and lost on the person and lost on the world, but it should illuminate and inspire and make a little more refined. So what's the keli that's, re that's required? Not an affirmative keli, but just that a yid has to remove the concealment, the covering, and the concealment and the distraction. What's the covering and the concealment and the distraction? Himself. He has to want. He has to want. 
and has to put self out of the way and want and allow Hashem to reside in reve- revealed way with it, within him. That's all Abish is asking. A little dedication. A little dedication that, that, that is a, com- a commitment that no, no distractions. It's shared with you many times. The Rebbe said in the, that Fabrengen then Cholom uh, Maitzuk is before the Nesiyas of my Posen, Oliver Shalom Zalman Posen, a blessed memory. Shared that the Rebbe said then that the Pischel Kichudish Shal Machat Kill the defect, the voice of my beloved knocks on my heart, says the Medrash. Peacefully open up for me, Achosi, Rayosi, Yanosi, Tamosi, expressions of endearment and love. So the Medrash says, the Abish says to every year, open up for me, Kechudish, or Machat, like the point of a needle, remember? When you have Tachlachem, Kepischi, Shalul, Manal, open up your heart, like the opening of the Ulam, which was this vast opening, had no doors to the Heichel, 20 Amasai. So the Rebbe said, then what's the, explain the diak of, of Kechudosh Machat, the point of the needle is beetle. And the point, and, and the end, what does the needle do? It penetrates the cloth. Beetle, that no matter, no excuse, nothing, no barriers, is committed, this is what has to be done, and he just pierces every concealment. That's the Kali. That's the Kali. And the, the point of the Rebbe was that. It, in one thing, one Indian, if you do one thing, one mitzvah, but this till the end, God says, all I'm asking, and I'll open you up your heart the rest of the way. Because it inevitably it cannot st- remain there. Because if it's the emmas, then it's going to embrace everything. And don't worry about everything. You just start with one achlata that you, till now you were resisting, and still the end. No alumnus has stayed in, no bulim, no distractions. They're tired. This one, that one said, all excuses. He pierces through, then that's what Abish is asking. What should he pick? The one he has the most resistance to. <laughs> the one he knows he should be doing, and he gave himself the best, the best excuses. It's his fault, it's her fault. Okay, I'm going to stop here and we'll continue tomorrow because it's a beautiful Indian coming.